Yo, Bootleg Kev Podcast special guest here, Ruben Vincent, representing Charlotte. Yes, sir. Shout out to Ninth Wonder. I appreciate him keeping it consistent and putting on for the state. Absolutely. Shout out, big bro. For people who don't know, you're signed to Jamla, which is a uh, Ninth's label. Uh, obviously, man, he's putting together a hell of a roster. Shout out to Rhapsody. She was just here. Facts. Shout How old are you? 23. Okay, so were you like, did you, I mean, you weren't, you're not old enough to like have appreciated like little brother. Yeah, I appreciate it later in, down my line. Like, when I turned 15 and, like, started to get closer to Knife and everybody. Right. Because I met him on the internet at 13. Oh, shit. Yeah. Don't say that like that. Like, how did you guys meet? <laughs> so, <laughs> that sounds crazy. So, oh, yeah, 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 definitely. So, no so, Drake. Facts. No, definitely not. So, <laughs> so we was, um, I had put out a mixtape. I was, like, recording heavy in my closet. And then somebody, he was doing, like, Q&As on Twitter. Oh, dope. And somebody was like, yo, I don't have a question, but there's this kid from North Carolina. He's 13. I don't know him. I am I live in Oakland, but I stumbled upon his music. I think you should check him out. And Ever since then? He he was like, yo. He was like, yo. He followed me, and then he sent a DM, and then he was like, where's your mother? That was the first right. thing he said. He was like, where's your mother? And so he ended up chopping it up with my mom. He was like, yo, I want him to come down to the studio. We drove from Charlotte to Raleigh, which is like a two-hour drive. Mm -hmm. And we drove down there, and I did, like, nine songs in three days. And he Damn. was, like, impressed. And that was, like, ten years ago. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, crazy. So That's dope. So then you had to go back and, like, listen to, like, the listening and, like, yeah. the minstrel show and all yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. And, right. like, just study. He he gave me a lot of artists to study, like, albums and stuff like that. He was, like, go back and, like. What's your favorite album that he gave you to study? Mm, black album. Shout out to Hove, man. They yeah. made threats on there. Shout out to yeah. <laughs> Shameless he plug. He had Cedric the Entertainer on there. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, he just was the thing that the reason why Knife chose Black Album. He was trying to describe to me the Hove's ability to like be simple but not be simple. Mm. If that makes sense of like. Okay, the the surface level people can understand the change clothes, but then he might have a little double entendre in there that right. not everybody's gonna get. But he was like, just study that and like breath control and like where he's not over rapping the right. production and stuff like that. Yeah, I just had a, me and my friend were talking last night because uh, the blueprint was on the top hundred albums ever, and it was like number thirteen. Yeah, but it was above like. My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. And some albums I thought, because I was like, yo, that ain't even, to me, that ain't even Jay-Z's best album. There's an argument. My favorite is Reasonable Doubt, but there's an argument to be made on any given day. The mm. best Jay-Z album is the Black Album, Blueprint, or Reasonable Doubt. Yeah, yeah, and definitely. one of those three, I feel like, however you're yeah, feeling. Yeah, you good. That's, that's right. It, it exactly depends on To me, the today. Black Album's like the dark horse for Jay's best album. Oh, I'm like, for yo, sure. like, Black Album, like, low-key is like a perfect album. Like, for Justify sure. Justify My Thug was a little weird, but like, you know, everything else is... It's a great body of work, man. So that's dope. So you got to kind of go back and just kind of dig and like, you know. Yeah, absolutely. He he gave me like, you know, he gave me some of the the gems that I knew. You know, the Kanye's, the Jays, And then he gave me, you know, the Roots, Illadelph, half, you know what I'm saying? Great like album. those. He gave me the MF Doom albums. Yep. Like he really gave me a broad spectrum. Like homework. Of, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So I was studying throughout high school. I used to blow his phone up like, at like, yo, can I come back to the studio mm -hmm. for the summer? Can I come back right. for spring break? And he just used to like just let me like run free in the studio, you know what I'm saying? For like, even for example, I was there rap with a rap a lot. Right. But him and rap, you know, they'll go travel or they'll be doing mm -hmm. moving around. So like it, it came to a certain point when my mom finally was like trusting of the setting that right. I was in. I started going there by myself. Dope. And then even to the point where it was like he was not recording me no more. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, I'm going to just leave the studio open for you. You Here's, figure it out. Yeah, exactly. Record yourself type yeah, shit. Exactly. And I just started recording myself, recording myself. By the time I got a car, I started driving up there. And I just made it my business to be there. You know Do you what get I mean? to dig into like uh, any archives of like unused beats? Oh, yeah. He gave me a whole hard drive full of beats from like 2001 oh, that's to fire. 2007. Wow. Even finding stuff that like I have the original Honey Beat that Erica Badu used. Wow. I have like beats that Busta ended up using or this Crazy. person ended up using. Like Yeah, between like Ninth and like Crisis, like man, shout out to that whole... The, the production coming out of North Carolina is crazy. They're crazy, bro. They are crazy. Jesus. For sure. Well, listen, man. Uh, what do you what do you got? Do you got anything out? Do you got anything yes. coming out? So we you have an EP. We have an EP that we just put out in April right after we got off tour with Boss called General Admission. 
Um, we're actually working. I'm actually in the studio working on new stuff right now. So it's like nonstop. We're going to definitely put out some more stuff this year. But, you know, we just running the EP through the ground right now. Tour was amazing. So we trying to, you know, get a few more settings in on the, in the summertime for different shows and right. stuff like that. But, yeah, I just been chipping at it. And I did the uh, Good Times theme song for the new Netflix joint. That just oh, came fire. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me. Wait, what's the, what Netflix show? Uh, the good time, the cartoon, the Good Times joint. God, dude, I don't know. The last thing I watched on Netflix was the Tom Brady roast. Yeah, that was crazy. That <laughs> crazy. was crazy. That was crazy. That shit was insane. Facts. <laughs> Shout out to Tom Brady, man. That's dope, man. You're working, man. So look, we're gonna have you do what you do. Uh, you picked a crazy beat. Yes. For the timing, it's only right. We just we're gonna let you cook up, man. We in L.A. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. Sheesh. Shoo. Yeah. Huh. I'm healing with killing, this shit is unorthodox So mama, I am immortalized, I'm Al Capone, crime organized In the four, I'm four to five, when I'm 45 with a 45 Shit shoot back like Jordan now, my sources got but I short in lives on wax Six feet eight, four, four, five, with a porch, but I've been off the porch since nine Seven oh four with a force, it's found up in pork and slime You know they a rhyme, whoo, know that I'm putting on shine like that incident shooting in 99 Nigga, this is in the 90s, now time to show these old heads that they not in a crime Shot they told me that love is a crime, they gon' hate once you conquer the climb Pay your debt, so we pullin' your car like a crook at the store, sorry to climb Mama forgive me, I'm out of my mind, I might fight, put my life on the line for the trial Ready to die like B.I. in the sky, just to be like Muhammad, praise how to a lie Arm, leg, leg, arm, hair, ring alarm, this a cold red When I touch west, all the hoes fed, like the DJ, all I won't head I'm a CLT homegrown, hero, I don't feel a hoe, like my name, zero if we talking bread Then your own keto dog, I twist so sick, thought I know Neo, okay On occasion, I'm duck in the matrix, getting paid like Rich Ford and Asics They put trust in the hood and they lace it up, put us in jail like a new Bad Asics Told my mama I'm racking it up to the maximum Fuck all that minimum wage Tell a nigga so what if it ain't about the blue and green You can call Miles Davis Ooh. I'm a beacon of light I never chose to put lean in a Sprite I never sold no work or wore no purse Supposed to be in the light I never told them pose But no if they played and I show them what Jesus is like Some of y'all need G.O.D. in your life Ain't probably had P.O.P.s in your life We can talk Curry's and Bronze and Katie But Ruben is young A.E. Hey, on the mic Bitch I will K.G. on the mic Put a B.D. on these I J.P. to her right I heard it's cheaper to keep her But if we talk he couldn't eat, he but the price Telling the father the leader, I'm giving them eat The car me got some on mic Yeah, bitch, I'm on bootleg hair Back in high school, I used to bootleg Wayne Through the dry dish, you took dedication Like Carter, I'm bringing that fire, I'm in flame How ironic, I sign a shine Carter Now once I get mine, then I'm dashing like Dame Y'all niggas be in this shit for the fame I'm getting the change and giving them change on God Sheesh Woo yeah. Ruben Vincent yeah. Ruben Vincent You already know, man Go get the EP. Appreciate you pulling up, brother. My dog. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right. Hey, appreciate you guys watching this freestyle. We got another one coming, and then another one, and then another one, and they're all brought to you by our good folks at LRG Clothing. You already know what it is. LRG been keeping you fly for years. They got so much new fly gear right now. L-R-G.com. Promo code BOOTLEG. When you check out, you'll save 30% off. L-R-G.com. Another freestyle's on the way, presented by LRG.